Did you know there are seven symbols that represent Scorpio? It's not just the scorpion, there are seven. Number two is a spider. Number three is a lizard. Number four is a serpent. Number five is a wolf. And the last two are the ones you might also know about, the eagle and the phoenix. We're gonna look at three of them more in depth and try to understand why those animals represent Scorpio. I, I, I went a little bit down a, a rabbit hole for learning about scorpions and scorpions are fascinating. I do actually have scorpions from time to time in my house. They're, they're really little though. I mean, they're not that big of a deal. It's not as bad as the tarantula. That was weird. Hello. I'm awfully large. Scorpion is a creature that is very patient. It is a solitary creature. It waits into the darkness the more dark it is, the better for a scorpion. In fact, the way scientists and researchers find scorpions out in the wild is with a black light. And the darker and blacker the light, the brighter and greener those scorpions shine. And it's really a mystery as to why scorpions have black light capabilities, magical powers, but they are solitaire creatures, they're defensive creatures, they're creatures that don't like the sun. They stay in the darkness as much as possible. We have things that happen to us in the Scorpio areas of our lives and we need to go down deep, dig deep and bring up the battles that we've fought, but they're so internal, they're so internal. And the scorpion represents to me like a loss, a betrayal, a battle. Those creatures, they fight each other if they need to, but it's mostly in defense. Scorpions, like Scorpio energy, is strategic. It waits for its proper moment. The second animal that represents the Scorpio energy is the eagle, but it's more of a power symbol. Whereas the scorpion is a defensive, Scorpio energy, it does have a desire for power and control. An eagle is also a solitary creature. It needs to control its environment. It needs to control the area. It's a predator and it has an eagle's eye. So I see Scorpio having that eagle eye. Scorpio can see things just like an eagle does very, very clearly. They see through things that nobody else can see through motives it can see hidden agendas it can see through to the truth and the deeper truths in life it's very stoic very strong the third symbol that represents Scorpio most often is the Phoenix the Phoenix is self-healing it's a transformative creature it burns it dies it burns and something new arises out of it that's very scorpionic it's the destruction of something to turn it into its elements and grow something new out of it. It's, it's fertilizer. The Phoenix is no longer focused on defensive powers. The Phoenix is no longer focused on seeing through things. The Phoenix is an evolved creature. It's above egoic desires. It's above wanting control and power just to have control and power. And it moves towards a more spiritual development, a transformative energy, a transformation of the self. Now, Notice too that the phoenix has to die in order to rebirth, re regenerate. Dying includes suffering. Parts of our chart that are ruled by Scorpio, that part of our life can include a lot of suffering and can be very challenging. But if we focus on this phoenix energy of using the suffering as fuel, using the suffering as our fertilizer, we can come out of those ashes, come out of the darkness, holding some gem, a jewel, a giant, diamond or something like that, that we've gone down into the depths of the earth to get to fight for and work for. This is a weird one. This is weird. But some people in Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, they actually use scorpions as a narcotic. So the person has to go through six or so hours of pain because the body's adjusting all these toxins. After that, there's a lot of bad side effects. There's short-term and long-term memory loss. There's sleeping and appetite disorders. There's a constant state of delusions or death. I really don't recommend smoking or, or taking scorpions, uh, of course, obviously. Weirdly though, one more weird thing here is that the Chinese medicine has used scorpion venom for centuries to treat different pain. And if it's used properly, developing painkillers based on scorpion venom, they say, potentially could provide relief that isn't dependent on addictive opiate-based drugs like oxycodone. So wouldn't that be fascinating if a scorpion would really be the healing property to help with pain? <laughs> what? Wow. Thinking about the potentiality of a Scorpio experience either taken wrongly, like being 
abusive of a scorpion by smoking it or taking it as the venom or whatever for a different purpose than healing, it can really mess people up. But if we use the, the same exact elements, it can heal people. It's just fascinating. That's how Scorpio energy is. We have a choice, always everything is a choice and we can go down either path. We have free will. But when we have scorpionic experiences, we're in a time of very scorpionic energy. And when we have these choices, we can grow from them or we can choose to just be in pain and suffering and not move forward through it, even though it's hard. It's hard. I like you just the way you are. I really, really do. I wish the best for you and I appreciate you being here. I'll talk to you guys next time.